Hello friends, it's me, and today is Darman Monday, and we're gonna be watching a video about foster parents who get an evil child. Let's watch. This is Abby. Hi, Abby. This is her? <laughs> Abby watched Wednesday once, and now Abby is Wednesday. Hi, Abby. Uh, I'm Calvin. Um, it's so nice to meet you. I always wanted a daughter. Hi, Abby. I'm Danielle. <laughs> They're terrified of her. Why are they so scared? Y'all haven't seen Wednesday? It's probably your favorite show right now. It's not a phase, mom. This is who I really am. Oh, I used to have a diary just like that. Somebody tried to grab my diary, I would snatch it away too. Abby, th these are your new foster parents. The Gages. Oh, is that a gift for them? That is so thoughtful. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Where did that come from? <gasps> oh, is it a dead oh. bird? Uh, Abby, oh, oh. that is not appropriate. Now, please pick that bird up, take it outside, and get your things. <laughs> I mean, if you have a cat, a cat is gonna bring you a dead bird or a dead mouse as a form of a gift. I like my human. I think they would like a dead rat. I feel like you could clearly see and smell a dead bird in a bag. Like, why, why did you have to take it out and throw it? I'm so, so sorry. I, I, I'm sure you're waiting for an explanation. She thinks she's Wednesday Adam. <laughs> Wednesday actually talks. She didn't even say a single word. She doesn't speak. She writes. Look, it's not a big deal, okay? This is what 11-year-old girls do. I mean, she'll grow out of it. It's just a phase. They always do. And if you're a kid going through a similar phase, you might think you might never grow out of it. You're gonna be like this forever. You're gonna be 40 and cosplaying Wednesday Adams. You're not. The mom kind of looks like she's cosplaying a ukulele playing YouTuber, but that's another story. Yeah, that's a great way of looking at it. We have seven days to bring her back, right? Now we asking about a return policy on a child? Seven days I can just bring her back and get a full refund. Man, this is not the Costco. And this is your new room, Abby. We painted it ourselves. You know, <laughs> what do you think? That was perfect for her. We got you a little something. It's a welcome home gift. Oh. And that was rude. At least wait for them to get out of the room first. It doesn't fit my aesthetic. You wouldn't understand. You're tired. You know, why don't you just settle in, okay? And um, just let us know if you need anything. Yeah, right? okay. Oh, and don't forget, tomorrow you start school. Did you want me to shut the door? Okay. <laughs> I can't believe she just threw the locket away. We spent like 80 bucks on that. It's not like you can't just take it out of the trash can, put it back in the box, and then return it to Walmart. Just for her to be so disrespectful, I really don't know if I'm ready for this, Cal. Danny, I know it's hard, okay? But just imagine how Abby is feeling. I mean, we don't know anything that she's been through. We just have to give her some time. We know she's been through several hundred hours of watching Netflix. Y'all already know I drink G Fuel every single day because it gives me energy, helps me focus, it boosts my mood. It has no sugar, it's packed full of vitamins. And right now, G Fuel is doing a buy one, get one sale. Buy one energy tub and get one free. My wolfberry flavor is also included. And there's also a new lemon Italian ice flavor that sounds delicious. And you can mix and match flavors. G Fuel isn't just for gaming. I drink it before recording videos and going to the gym because it gives me energy and it's delicious. Check out the link in the description below, get your G Fuel today. I already know she's gonna be up to no good. It's a new house, it's nighttime. You're not gonna stay in your room, are you? I don't wanna go exploring. Oh look, how convenient that I find a bucket of black paint under the sink. Let me guess, she's gonna repaint her whole room in a night. Oh my gosh! <laughs> what, 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 why did you do this? <laughs> She went to Home Goods to buy some skulls. Oh, she been busy, busy. Yeah, honestly, I would be impressed. The least you could do is answer me. We worked really hard on this room. Hey, what's going on over here? Wow. Well, this is interesting. Did you do this all by yourself? Why are you encouraging her? Well, I'm just wondering, you know, in hindsight, we should have just asked her what color she wanted. We just assumed she wanted pink. Hey, we better get going. 
because you don't want to be late for your first day of school. I mean, why would you go through all the effort of customizing a bedroom to a child before you even meet the child? Like, what if her favorite color is purple? What if it's green? What if it's black? Like, who cares? Let the kid do what they want with their bedroom. I can't even. Imagine your parent walked out of your room like, oh, I can't even. It's giving emo. I really don't get a good feeling about her, Calvin. If she likes black instead of pink, so what? We have to make her feel at home. Let's not give up on her. I understand. But we only have six days left until we have to make a decision. I don't want to get stuck with her. Hey, don't say that. I'm sorry. I'm not going to sugarcoat it. I wanted a daughter that likes pink. I don't want a daughter who likes black. Let's swap her out for a new one. Maybe you don't deserve a kid then. She's probably writing horrible things about her in her diary. All right, Miss Abby, your first day of school. You know, uh, I went to Bookside too. Pizza Thursdays, the best. But whatever you do, pack a lunch for uh, Macaroni Mondays. Speaking of lunch, here's some cash for you. Oh, wow. You're wearing the locket that we got you. I'm so glad that you're wearing that. That makes me really happy. Bye. Oh, I was gonna say, why didn't she say anything? Can she literally not talk? Oh, what a surprise. She likes the parent that actually accepts her for who she is. I feel like that's so hard for some parents to understand. Like, this is the way my child is. I'm supposed to love them unconditionally. Today, we are gonna be dissecting frogs. But before we begin, there are a list of rules we need to go over. First, we need to remember their anatomy. Who can tell me the She just stabbed it! What the do to you. There is something really, really wrong with her. Yeah, there's something really, really wrong with her. Her room is black. Oh, she stabbed the dead frog. I mean, y'all are gonna dissect it. She's just getting a little head start. Exactly. That's why we need to help her. Not give up on her. She's just a young child. She's a problem child. That's what she is. I saw her wearing the locket that we gave her right when I was dropping her off from school. She even said her first word to me. She said bye. Right, and you know what? Her voice is actually really sweet. Wow. That's surprising. The school's uh oh, hard. somebody's in trouble. You're saying she decapitated it? Oh. <laughs> As in she as in she cut its head off. The one day that I was absent during biology was frog cutting day. So I have no idea what that's like. You give a kid a little scalpel, sharp little tool, and something dead, they're, they're gonna go crazy on it. Blood everywhere. Naturally, the students are traumatized. I know this is only Abby's first day here. Unrealistic. The blood would not well, go everywhere. I'm going to have to suspend her. Whoa, let's just slow down a bit. Suspend her for doing what the teacher asked? She was just a little enthusiastic about it. Like, why would you suspend her? It's her first day. She's still learning. I'm sure it was a little misunderstanding. She's only been here a couple hours and already the school doesn't want to keep her. We can't either. Hey, let's Baby, at least can listen we to what Abby has to say. Get a normal I mean, I'm sure that there's a good explanation. And if there isn't, now what? She pulled the fire alarm. Okay, now we have to you suspend were her. <laughs> we're sorry that we're bringing her back so soon. Oh, I understand. <gasps> They're gonna return her? You guys actually lasted longer than the last few families that have had her. So the last few families only lasted the car ride back home? Poor girl. If she didn't act so crazy, maybe someone would actually want to keep her. If you don't mind me asking, I mean, how did she end up in the system to begin with? It doesn't even matter anymore, Cal. You know, I'd like to know, still. I mean, for my own peace of mind, I mean, if that's okay. Abby's mom died when she was young, and her dad, he didn't know how to deal with it, so he started using drugs. One day, he left the house, told Abby he'd be right back, just he never came back. Oh, I'm just gonna run out and get some milk. Never came back. Have dad's location turned on at all times. Just make sure he comes back. Abby was left at home, alone, by herself, for five weeks. Whoa. Luckily, the neighbors got worried and they called the cops. We found Abby all by herself. She was just five years old. Oh my gosh, that's terrible. 
I wonder if she has a problem open up to people because she has so many trust issues. Mm, she been through it. Like, how do you live a child alone for five weeks? I'm guessing that's why she sabotages every placement she gets. Well, hopefully, someone will figure her out someday. Thanks for trying. I'll be in touch when we have another match. Hey, you've hardly touched your food. Uh, sorry, I just don't have much of an appetite. What, you don't like my spaghetti and meatballs? She seems no, like she's having a room. great day now that the child right. is yeah. gone. she would forget her diary. Having your dad, I don't care if he's a foster dad, I don't care if you use your dad for less than 24 hours, you cannot go through somebody's diary. Oh, hey, um. That's personal. I found Abby's diary. Uh, look, I know I shouldn't be reading it, but uh, you won't believe what's in it. Y'all are no dearer than I I really think we should just be trying to move on now. Well, why don't you just come in and, you know, just take a look. Dear diary, another day, Another foster, foster family. family. Today, I'm meeting my new foster parents. Can you hear the excitement in my voice? I even got them a gift. A dead bird. I bet they'll change their mind about me within 10 minutes of meeting me. It'll be a new record. This seems like it was all just one big game to her. Look, why don't we just see what else she has to say? Dear Diary, surprise, surprise. They brought me to their house. And I think they would. As mean as I'm trying to be to them, they're actually... Kinda nice. They gave me a pretty necklace, which I threw in the trash just to see what they do. They didn't break them. They even painted my room for me, which would have been cute if it wasn't the same color as the room I grew up in. The room where my dad abandoned me and left me all alone to die. Wow. You know, that's the issue. It's like parents don't understand you, but also the kids don't tell the parents things. Like you don't talk to your parents to help them understand you. After my new foster parents are asleep, I'm going to paint it black which means they'll probably be kicking me out as soon as they see it. Makes me a little sad, but better now than later. I would be traumatized too if they put me in a pink room and all my bad memories were in a pink room. Look, there are tear stains on the page. Yeah, it's almost like she wanted to stay, you know? How do you know they're tears? Maybe she drooled. Maybe it's Sprite Zero. Are you okay? It's just so sad to think that her dad just left her like that. It clearly still haunts her. Did she write anything else? Yeah. Dear Diary, I'm somehow still here, even after I painted my room. I don't know why they're not giving up. None of my other foster parents would have made it this far. Maybe these ones are different. I don't know. I'm going to try and get in trouble at school today and see if they send me back. If they don't, then maybe it means that they're not going to abandon me. Oh, but guess what y'all did? did? You know, we're not even gonna stop at home to get your stuff. We're gonna take you straight from school back to child services. I feel like such a bad oh, person Oh yeah, you now. should. She just needed to be loved. I mean, obviously, every so child needed. needs to be loved. I mean, if you're looking to adopt a child, isn't that like rule number one? Like, oh, wow, a child has been brought into my life. The first thing I should do is probably love the child. And I just pushed her away. Ding dong. Oh, hey, sorry to come by like this. Did Abby leave her diary here? She, she really can't be without it. Is she with you? Oh, yeah, she's in the car. Oh, by the way, good news. I found a new girl and that- I don't want another girl. Abby, I am so sorry for sending you back. I, I made a big mistake. I, I thought you were doing all those things because you hated us. I see now that it was all just a test to see if we'd give up on you like so many people have. But I want you to know if if you'll give us another chance, I promise we won't give up on you. We won't abandon you. I promise you will never have to worry about that. This is gonna be a lot of what paperwork do you say? to fill out. Do you wanna come back? Yes. <laughs> oh, she broke character. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> What, just like that? They can take her back? But anyways, that's all for today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to hit that like button in the face. And make sure you turn on notifications. Click. Click. And I just released some new merch. We got hoodies, shirts, tank tops at ogwolfpack.com. I'll link it below. And subscribe to the Wolfpack.
I love you guys so much.